Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's players and also the Ghana Black Meteors. Don't forget, the AFCON 2023 for the Nato 23 side is starting just two days from now. On 24th of this month, the tournament is starting in Morocco and Ghana will play our first game on the 25th. I'll bring you more details on this channel. Let's look at the team. The team arrived yesterday in Rabat, Morocco. Of which I brought you updates on this channel. And the coach is said to actually reduce the squad. Now, the goalkeeper for the Ghana Black Meteors, Jordan Emisa. He is a new goalkeeper. Yes, he's a German born but Ghanaian. He made his debut and saved a fantastic penalty. We will check out that penalty save he made in the game against Zamalek. He has also spoken after that particular game. What did he say? We will check it out on this channel. Thomas Tepate is the player who plays for Arsenal and Arsenal is putting him on transfer. Which clubs are interested Tepate? Um, according to sources, he the player does not want to go to Saudi Arabia but clubs from Italy are showing up. We will check it out in this video. Mohamed Salisu is the player for Southampton. He is also getting interest from Turkey and other clubs. We will check the details on this channel and other latest news coming in. From the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's players, let me know your thoughts under the comments box. I also give shout out to all those who commented under our previous video. The last video we uploaded yesterday, I'll give shout out to all those who commented. So anytime you join us, kindly drop us a like, like the video. After that, make sure you subscribe if you are new. Subscribe, put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. So just like the video and let's begin from the Ghana Black Meteors. Now, the team began their preparations in Ghana here ahead of the Anna 23 AFCON which will happen in Morocco. Don't forget our last qualifiers, we actually eliminated Algeria when we defeated them 1-0 in Kumasi after a one-all draw in um, Algeria. And the team has qualified for this tournament. We are in Group A with Morocco, um, Guinea and also Congo Brazzaville of which the tournament will start on 24th but will start for Ghana on 25th. That is when we will play our first game. I've already brought you a lot of updates. I'll continue to update you on, you know, the matches, the time and everything and where we can actually watch the match all will be on this channel for you. So just stick and stay with me for that. Now, after our first game against San Kyoti in Ghana, we defeated them three goals to nil. When Jordan Emisa, the new goalkeeper, made his debut for Ghana, keeping a clean sheet was very good for him. Ghana, after arriving in Egypt to prepare for the upcoming tournament, we played our first game. That was against Egypt Young Pharaohs. It was one all when the goalkeeper, Dalad Ibrahim, was imposed. He also saved the penalty on that day um, and conceded one goal. Now, the second friendly game we played in Egypt was against Zamalek. And Jordan Emisa also played that game and he also saved a penalty even though he conceded one. So, let's check out the penalty that he saved in that game. And afterwards, we will talk more about this goalkeeper. That is Jordan Emisa. Yes, that is it from Jordan Emisa. After um, saving this penalty, he took it to his official Twitter handle and he wrote this. Since I was young boy, it was my dream to have the black star on my chest and represent the country I love with all my heart. It is a promise I made to my late grandfather. I am so happy to see this promise become reality but so sad that you are not around to witness it. So yes, he said that he made a promise that he was going to represent Ghana. Already brought a lot of updates. Proud to his, um, you know, um, made him call up to the national team. That the player was always saying that he wanted to play for Ghana. He wanted to play for Ghana. And now he has gotten the opportunity to represent Ghana. He actually posted it and said that the sad thing is that the grandfather is not alive. Yeah, the grandfather died at the age of 74. That's Mr. Christian Kofi um, Emisa. So yes, the player is Jordan um, Emisa Yamwa. And um, that is that. So yes, may the grandfathers so rest in peace. So he has made his debut for Ghana. And he was so excited about it in the friendly. We only hope that going into the tournament, he will get opportunity to do more for us in the tournament. We have two solid goalkeepers who are all showing promises that they are good. In fact, in terms of penalty kicks, they are very good in saving penalties. And we hope that the tournament, Ghana, we will get a very good tournament in there. I've told you, I don't understand the reason why um, you know, NS Noama Pia is still in Ghana because he's in Ghana, Kuma, 
um, you know, Sunyani, as of the time I'm speaking with you, that is what I know. And the FA has not brought out any statement to that effect as to why the player is not with the team. We understand come out there and runs for Yeboah Konizofa are not with the team because their clubs decided to pull them out of this tournament. And I don't know whether the GFA did enough to get these players on board for the national team. But that is how everything is going now. Of which I think it is a worrying situation. In fact, for the technical team, because NS Norma was an integral member of the team. He's the backbone of this team. He actually provided two assists for Amino um, you Fatari Sahaku to score um, you know, those two goals against Algeria. And as he's not part of the team, I don't know what to say on that front. Thomas Tepate is a player who played for Arsenal. He has also been put in on transfer by the Arsenal team. They have told the player to start looking for options um, where he will play next season, which I think is really bad. You know, he has one year story con um, contract with Arsenal, so he can decide to stay and complete that one. But AC Milan and Inter Milan, they have intensified their interest. For the Black Stars of Ghana's midfield, that is Thomas Tepate. We understand a class from Saudi Arabia, that is, um, um, you know, Al Hilal, Al Nassau, and Al Khalid. They are all interested in signing the Black Stars of Ghana's midfield. Pate last season, he was fantastic for Arsenal. You know, he played about 33 games, scoring three, uh, three goals for them. He was super in the EPL until the last four or five, five games. That's when he actually, you know, um, he wasn't really performing well, but I don't think that he deserves to be taken out of this Arsenal team. A lot of Arsenal fans does not understand this, and myself too, I cannot understand it. So according to sources, Saudi Arabian class prepared um, to pay 40 million euros for Thomas Ter Partey, but he has turned down that offer. But we hope that Partey will play maybe more time for Europe before he moves to uh, maybe Saudi Arabia or any other continent. So that is it for you on this channel. Now, um, Mohamed Salisu is also a defender who plays for Southampton. His club has been relegated to the English Championship. But, um, you know, clubs are now looking for a defender just like Salisu Mohamed. Because of injury, he didn't complete the full season for Southampton. But Turkish Giants, that is um, Galatasaray, has re um, actually shown interest in signing Mohamed Salisu. And we understand that they are preparing a bit for the Black Stars of Ghana's defender who plays for Southampton. Let's wait and see whether they will get him. His contract will also end next season so he can decide to stay and play with the team in the championship or he might also join other clubs. We understand that Aston Villa is also interested in him. Crystal Palace is also interested in him. West Ham United is also interested in the player but no concrete bid has actually been seen. So yes, for now, it is the Turkish giant um, Galatasaray who has shown interest in signing the Black Star of Ghana's defenders. So let's wait and see how things will go on that front. Let me know your thoughts under the comments box. The Black Meteors they have arrived in Morocco preparing for the AFCON of which Ghana we have to qualify for the Olympic Games. We also spoke about Thomas Tepate and we talked about Amino Jordan Emisa then looking at Mohamed Salisu as well. Let me say shout outs going out to these amazing people who have commented under the last video as of the time recording this video today, this morning around 8.30 a.m. I have God Soldier. You commented yesterday under the video. Thank you. I appreciate your presence always. Then I also have, um, you know, Sylvester and Info. Yes, thank you for being here. I have Ni Esiedu. Thank you for being here. I've seen you. Um, Opoku, Opoku Jada. Okay, thank you. I've seen Opoku. Um, Imano Amane is also here. Thank you, Imano. I've seen you. Um, Gabista, you are also here on this channel. Frederick, Frederick, boss, how are you doing? Yes, he's also here. Um, I also have, um, you know, um, Pomebe, um, intra, um, Pomebe, okay. You are here. I have seen you. Omar Mazi is also here. I have seen you. Savia Doche, you are also here. Savia. Um, I also have Joshua Lamte, you are also here. Ibn Sina, you are also on this channel. Razi Blinks is also here. Thank you. I have Swanzi Kuje, you are also on this channel. Thank you for being here. Um, Teach Them is also on this channel. I have Baba Oja Aki, thank you for being here. Foster Maunya is also here. Certified Mike, you are also here. Certified, I've seen you. Um, Nature ZA, okay, you are also here. Um, certified Mike, I think I've mentioned already. Jaum, Jaum, Maya Wayne. Okay, John Mayawini, Enoch, you are also here. Right now, YouTube, they've changed you to the, the you know, account handle names. That is why I'm finding it a little bit difficult. Becky Beck, you are also here. Becky, I've seen you. Robert Autry, I've seen you. I saw you are here. Um, Then, Anson, Anson, um, Cass, you are also on this channel. Bame Solomon, in Trossip, you are here as well. I have Bright Asiwomi. Bright Asiwomi, thank you for being here. 
Eric Esiedu, you are here as well. Then I also have, I think that's all for you on this channel. So these are those who have commented as of the time I'm recording this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments under the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.